Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lobo TV. My name is Leia. And my name is Russell. Today's lunch is sliced, sliced turkey roast or hamburger. Russell, do you take care of our school? Of course, I make sure to pick up any trash I see to my on the way to my next school. Now Lobos, please stand for the play. Let's start off with announcements. Report cards come out tomorrow, so be ready for your grades. I hope I get good grades. But let's go to Garrett with the weather. Hey Lobos, I'm Megan and I'm Sierra. And we're here with the weather. Today's October 22nd on a Thursday. And the high up for the weather is 51. And the low of 39. That's all for today, Lobos. Hello Lobos, I'm here from Webb. And I'm here to remind you that the school store is open today after school. So come get like Lobo glasses so you can have swaggle. Hashtag swaggle. <laughs> Girls soccer has a game Saturday versus East at South at 9 o'clock. And Wednesday's game will be played on Friday. So be there. Seventh and eighth grade wrestling coach. We had a meet yesterday. Um, we did very well. We went up, we went up against uh, Vista Peak and Columbia. Both had real strong teams. Um, we had 17 wrestlers and we had 14 victories. Um, all eighth graders won their bout. Uh, seventh graders did really well. A lot of them, it's their first experience uh, with the sport of wrestling and they did very, very well. Our next meet will be Thursday, this Thursday, at Marache. Please come out and join us if you can. All you need is your school idea. Appreciate it. Hey Lobos, guess what? Today, me and the Advanced Choir are going to go on a field trip to Vista Peak and we're going to sing at our first performance at the APS Choral Festival. We are so excited for our very first performance of the school year. Be ready uh, to watch our performance on Lobo TV because we're going to record it. Woohoo! Go Lobo! According to Google Top Chimbachata Artists, Juan Romeo Santos, two Prince Royce, three Aventura, four Extreme, five Toby Love, six Pitbull, seven Don Omar, eight Faruco, nine Jenny Rivera, ten Marco Antonio Solis. Now we got 162 votes, and according to Sati, they're the top five. One Prince Royce with 70 votes. Sigo aquí, a pesar de lo malo, de ese oscuro pasado. Siempre estoy junto a ti. As for money, I'm getting advice. As for advice, get money twice. I'm from the dirty, but that chico nice. Y'all call it a moment, I call it life. Three Romeo Santos, the 28th Four Junior Rivera with 22 votes. Five Don Omar with five votes. Listen to my voice. Unique, strong, and worth being heard. Spoken through words. Representing the next generation of leaders. Achievers. Achievers. Bold. Confident. Fearless. Proud. Say it loud. You can feel it, I can feel it, like we're both awake and dreaming. Hello, Lobos. 
I'm Lydia, and welcome to Behind the Student Handbook with the Deans. Here with me are our two marvelous deans, Ms. Lindsay and Mr. Madison. Okay, let's talk about the statement. Learning includes all stakeholders, students, staff, and the school community. But first, what do stakeholders mean? Ms. Lindsay? Um, stakeholders are anybody or any person that has to do with um, with our school as far as education goes. So it could be people from the community, like businesses or neighbors, it's um, staff, like your teachers, any adult that works here, other students, um, and their families. Those are our stakeholders. Okay, thank you, Ms. Lindsay. How about you, Mr. Anderson? I would agree it's the people that are involved into in our children's and students' uh, environment or in their direct education. So teachers, students, uh, peers, anybody that's directly involved with uh, our students. Okay, thank you, Mr. Anderson. Now, what does the statement, learning includes all stakeholders, students, staff, and the community, mean to you, Ms. Anderson? It's everybody's responsibility. It's the parents' responsibility at home. It's the teachers here and students. And the community gets involved with uh, sharing their experiences with the students and what they may need uh, when our students become part of that community, if it's job, business uh, that they work for, um, or just being a uh, great student at heart. Okay, thank you, Ms. Merriton. Ms. Lindsay? Um, and I would just add as far as um, the way stakeholders are part of our learning community is that we're all in partnerships um, with you guys to make sure that you are successful. And so um, every single piece of that, whether it's parents or anything else, we are working all together because our ultimate goal is to help you to be successful. Thank you, Ms. Lindsay. Well, that's it for Behind the Student Handbook with the Dean. See you next time, Lobos. Bye. Bye. That's it for today's episode of Lobo TV. Peace out.